We're here today to bless the name of the Lord, and we're welcoming you to be here with us. Um, we're thankful for you. We um, are Bethel House of Prayer Ministries, and we definitely wanted to make sure that you felt welcome because we are a house of prayer. We're a house of study, and we love the Lord, and God loves you. So we wanted to make sure that you felt welcomed, knowing that you need to be closer to the God who created you. And we wanted to share the word with you, worship with you, so that you could um, feel that closeness. So we just welcome you to our service today. Amen. Thank you so much, um, Psalmist Glass. Um, we're going to go ahead and go before the throne. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for another day. We thank you um, for this time, this fellowship. We thank you for bringing us through another week, Lord God. We ask, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit would go before us, Lord God, that you would touch each and every person that falls under the sound of my voice, Lord God, mm -hmm. each and every person watching, participating, that you would pour your Holy Spirit out on each and every one of us, Lord God. Equip us to do this service, Lord God. Help us to lift up your name and lift it high, Lord Amen. Jesus, and pray that... Um, as you are lifted up, all men will be drawn unto you, Lord God. Shackles would fall off, people would be healed. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. So again, this is Bethel Ministries. Um, we're now going to have our song of praise by our psalmist, Keisha. Amen. I've got a river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven you releasing, and we will never be denied. Cause it's stirring up deep, deep wells, it's stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river, dance in the river. Cause it's stirring up deep, deep wells, we're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river, jump in the river as deep cries out to deep cries out to we cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you jesus yeah i've got a river of living water a fountain that never will run dry it's open heaven you releasing and we will never be denied because we're stirring up deep deep wells we're stirring up deep deep waters we're gonna dance in the river dance in the river because we're stirring up deep deep wells we're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river, jump in the river. It's deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to. We cry out to we cry out to you, Jesus. As deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to. We cry out to, we cry out to you, Jesus. We're falling into deeper waters, calling out to you. Yeah, we're walking into deeper waters, going after you yeah because if he goes to the left and we'll go to the left and if he goes to the right and we'll go to the right we're gonna jump 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 
jump in the river jump 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 in the river if he goes to the left then we'll go to the left if he goes to the right then we'll go to the right we're gonna dance 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 in the river dance 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 in the river if he goes to the left then we'll go to the left if he goes to the right we'll go to the right we're gonna jump 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 in the river jump 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 in the river if he goes to the left then we'll go to the left if he goes to the right then we'll go to the right we're gonna shout 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 in the river shout 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 Yes, deep cries out to deep cries out to we cries out to deep cries out to we cry out yeah we cry out to you Jesus yeah deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus as deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you jesus yes deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to deep cries out to we cry out to we cry out to you Jesus. Man, as deep cries out, the deep cries out, we cry out, we cry out. That's right. So Jesus. That was a great oh. song. Thank you so much for that. Um Songless Glass. That was a great song. Really enjoyed that. Um so as we've um as we've now like lifted up some praise. We want to make sure that we don't forget um, uh, to pray. Mm -hmm. um, we were here in a nice, you know, we're here in a house. Um, you know, we we had an issue uh, earlier. I think it was this week or last week, nice. where the uh, AC went off. Oh, and and you know, it was something. We, we had a little little bit of a taste of what it's like to be out there in the elements. You know, as as hot as it did get in here, we still had our our water. We still had our fridge. We still had ice. You know, and stuff like that, and then we had um someone was able to come and fix it. But you know, there are people who don't have a home, you know, don't have a home to have an AC, or or they can't get the AC fixed, mm. can't afford to get it fixed. Um, you know, there's people who don't have any food right now. People die of starvation here mm. in the United States, die of starvation. So um, we have to pray. We have to pray for the people who are sick. For the people who are bereaved and the people who are homeless, we always have to keep them in prayer um, because um, just because we live in this kind of first world environment doesn't mean that these issues aren't there anymore. Um, they still are. So we want to make sure we're praying for these people. And our Reverend Brenda Robinson mm -hmm. is going to come forward and she's going to pray um, for those who are sick, bereaved and homeless. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We do thank and praise God for another day, for being here today, amen. And as uh, Minister Thomas Robinson just brought out, we're gonna pray for those who are homeless, those who are bereaved, those who are sick. And um, just, I know everybody out there, somebody knows that knows someone who is sick today or someone who is bereaved or you might even know someone who is homeless. Mm -hmm. And so let's lift our hearts up to the Lord. I read something on just the other day where it says that God hears the prayers of the saints. Yeah. yeah, he hears our prayers. Sometimes we think that perhaps he doesn't or maybe he's too busy, but no, he hears the prayers of the saints. Amen. And we thank and praise God for we have prayed for those who were sick this week. Um, our sister Kalitha had surgery on Wednesday and the surgery was successful and she's recuperating. We pray for our psalmist, mm -hmm. amen, who had been sick for a while and God has healed her and we're beginning to see so much progress in her healing. And we just thank the Lord, amen. Mm -hmm. God is so good. Those who are bereaved, amen. We just wanna lift up um, these people to God and those who are homeless in the name of Jesus. Father God, we. Do come before you in Jesus' name and 
We thank you, Father God, for the privilege and the opportunity to bring forth your word, Father God, and just to glorify you and praise you, Father God, on the internet. We thank you so much, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, we lift up those who are sick today, Father God. We read in your word where you healed mm -hmm. the blind, you healed the lame man, you healed mm -hmm. the woman with the issue of blood. You even brought people back from the dead. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray, Father God, that you will touch and heal today, oh God. There's nothing too great for you, Father God. There's nothing too complicated. There's nothing too hard. Father God, you created man. You formed the heavens and the earth. The word says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The word also tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So Lord, everything belonged to you. And we ask you right now, Father God, for those who don't know the word yes, of prayer, Father. Lord God, that you would touch and heal their bodies. For those who don't know the word of prayer, Father God, who've lost loved ones, Father God, and don't know which way to go. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will touch their hearts, that you will fill that emptiness in their lives, Father God, that they will know that there is a God. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you will comfort them. For you said, blessed is he who mourns, for they shall be comforted. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those who are homeless today, Lord. Mm -hmm. I pray, Father God, for those who are there. So many, mm -hmm. Father God, in so many cities and states and towns, Father God, where people are just homeless. And in a country of this mm -hmm. stature, Father God, who has just got billionaires upon billionaires upon billionaires that are just popping up all over the United States, Father God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, there should be none homeless. I pray God in the name of Jesus that you will touch the hearts yes, of those who are, who are in positions, mm -hmm. Father God, to build houses. I pray you would touch their hearts, Father mm -hmm. God, that they will um, have a heart for those who don't have a home, Father God. Oh, Lord, even the vets, Father God, the veterans, Father God, I feel so bad for them when I see them, Lord. They've mm -hmm. served this country, Lord, and still don't have a roof over their head. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, touch the hearts, oh, God. Touch the hearts of people, Father God, who are in positions to help, Father God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that they will build houses for these men and women, oh, God. Women with children, Heavenly Father. These shelters are not sufficient, Lord, and people are being hurt, harmed, killed, and maimed, and lamed, and raped in these shelters. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus. Fire, oh, God, fire, we fire. have the money. We have the money in these Jesus. United States that we can build um, homes, apartments for these people, oh, God. Decent Jesus. homes and apartments. Father God, we just need fire. to love to have some love, yes. Father God, have some concern, have some mercy, Father God, on these people, oh God, these homeless people who don't eat three meals a day. Some of us need to cut back on eating and share the food, Father yes. God. Uh, most of us need to lose weight, Father God. Share the food, Father God, with those who don't have it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Those who are bereaved, Father God, oh Lord, those of us who know the word of prayer, Father God, the word said a harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Those who know the word of God, the laborers, those who know the good news of Jesus Christ, find out who is bereaved. Go by their home, call them up on the phone, send them a note of encouragement and comfort in the name of Jesus. Those who are sick, Father God, go by the nursing home, the hospitals. And I know we're afraid to go now because of um, all the viruses and stuff that was out there. But Lord, we could at least send a card, send a fruit basket, do something to encourage people, to let them know that people care for them, Lord, and that God still loves them. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to go forth, Father God, and let the world know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, Hallelujah. but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. It says, the word says, God loved the world. He doesn't love just Christians. He doesn't love just white people. He doesn't love just black people. He doesn't love just Hispanic people or Asian people. He loves every soul in the world because God created man in his image. And so Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you will send forth the harvest workers, Father God. Please, Lord Jesus, send forth the harvest workers that these people will come to know 
that you love them and you love them with an everlasting love. So Father, in Jesus' name, this is our prayer this afternoon, Lord. And I pray, God, that some heart has been touched, that they will go forth and let people know that Jesus loves them and that he has died for the sins of the world and that they can have a wonderful relationship with you, Father. I pray for pastors all around the world, Father God, that they will lead their flock, Father God, into the harvest, Father God, because you said the harvest is, is ready and is white. And that means it's, 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 it's ready to be picked. It's ready to be plucked up. People are waiting for the word of God. People are waiting for the children of God to come forth, to speak to them about the love of God. They are waiting. They want to hear from us. And we have been silent too long. We can yell and jump up and down and scream in the church. And when we come outside the church, we can't say nothing. Oh, God, have mercy on our souls. Yes, have mercy on our souls. Lord. Mm -hmm. Give us hearts, Father yes. God, like thine. Give us a heart like thine. Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ Almighty, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Thank Praise you for God. that prayer. Praise God. Harvest is plentiful with the laborers who are truly oh. Um, So thank you so much for that prayer. We're now going to have our solo by our psalmist, Keisha Glass. As morning dawns and evening fades, you inspire songs of praise that rise from earth to touch your heart and glorify your Cause your name is a strong and mighty tower. Your name, your name is a shelter like no other. Your name, let the nation sing it louder. Cause nothing has the power to save like your name yeah, yeah. Jesus in your name we pray come and fill our hearts today Lord, give us strength to live for you and glorify your name. Because your name is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter light. Sing it louder, cause nothing has the power to save but your name. Yes, your name, your name. Jesus, it's all in your name, your name, your name. Your name 
nation singing louder Cause nothing has the power to save But your name Nothing has the power like your name. He has the name above all names. Right. He's worthy of all praise. That's who Jesus is. We really believe the healing is in the name. Transformation is in the name. All everything you need mm -hmm. is in the name of Jesus. You speak the name mm -hmm. to your situations and to your trials, to your depression, to your anxiety, to your That's despair. Right. You speak that name of Jesus and his mm -hmm. life. So thank you so much for that song. Yeah, we have, I mean, not that we have two really great songs. You always do great songs, but these these two songs here recently, we've really enjoyed. <laughs> uh, you always do great songs though. Um, so, all right, uh, we're going to get down to um, the main event um, and that is the word of God. Um, so we've now praised the Lord, we've lifted up his name. Um, and so now we're going to have the word um, our speaker today is a power pack speaker. He's a man of God. Um, he loves Jesus. He loves the gospel. This is someone who did hear the name and he heard the name and the name heard him. Well, and that's made all the difference. Um, and so today we're going to hear from our Reverend Thomas Robinson. And he's going to speak. I'm going to pray real quick for the speaker um, before he comes forward. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Um, that before the foundations of the earth, you knew us, Lord God. Before the foundations of the earth, you knew about this day and this afternoon um, and this message that was going to come forth, Lord God. So we pray that your word would accomplish that which it set out to do, Lord mm -hmm. God, and not return void. That you would speak through your servant, Lord God. Lay your hands on him, Lord Jesus. Anoint him from on high. Touch his uh, words, Lord God. That every word that proceedeth out of his mouth yes. would come straight from you, Lord yes. God. Mm -hmm. That you would use him as your microphone today, Lord God. And you would speak what thus saith the Lord mm. to the people, Lord Jesus, that he would speak with boldness, with clarity, Lord God, with precision, Lord Jesus, and that he would say exactly what you have said, Lord God. And just as Ezekiel prophesied to the bones and they reunited and came into a mighty yes, army, Lord, Lord God, that yes, this word yes. would equip someone, <clears throat> that with this word would turn someone's dead places into life, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, that it would turn a funeral into a celebration, Lord yes, Jesus, right. Lord God, that this word would turn someone into a soldier, Lord God, um, uh, help someone join the army of yes. the living God, Lord God, in the kingdom of heaven. We thank you, Lord God, yes. for, this, uh, uh, for the word that's going to go forward. We thank you, Lord Jesus, thank for you, Lord. your anointing. We thank you for your presence, which we know is here, Lord God, because we know we can't lose with you on our yes. side. Yes. We ask that you touch him from on high, Lord God, and that you touch the hearers, that the word would sink down and take root, Lord God. Crows would not touch it. It would not reach stony ground that this word would sink through, Lord God. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ Almighty, we pray. Amen. Amen. And I present to some and introduce to others our Reverend Thomas Robinson, Sr. Amen. Amen. God bless you for that um, <coughs> that beautiful um, uh, announcement or for your words of kindness, right? Um, I'm going to be coming from the book of Colossians. I did a little bit of studying on that. And um, the uh, Colossians were people that had many gods. Speak louder. Hmm? Speak louder. The Colossians were people that worshipped many gods. Uh, so Paul writes to them uh, in an effort to get them to understand that Jesus is not like any of the other gods, not That's like right. Apollos or Apollo or 
Mercury or all these other gods. This is Jesus, right? And he is the only way to salvation. So the whole purpose of this book is Paul trying to bring that fact out and let them understand it and know it, that there is no other way to the Lord. There is no other salvation other than through Jesus Christ. That's right. We're going to start from the book of Colossians, and I'm going to read verses 11 through 13. I'm sorry. First Colossians. First, sorry. Colossians, mm -hmm. chapter one, thirteen, verses eleven through thirteen. Why don't we do eleven through fourteen? Okay. Here we go. We also pray that you will be strengthened with His glorious power, so that you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. For we have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son, who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. Amen. If I had a title for this sermon... We used to have a teacher, and uh, she used to always say, well, we know we need the kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, she says, we have been, 13, says, we have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of light. You know, I did a, I did a little study, mm -hmm. and we are... Uh, were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And because of that, we became residents. Now, I started to think about, you know, residents, you know, growing up and where I lived and the um, affiliation and association I had with the community and the neighborhood in which I lived. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it, it brought back some, some, some fond memories. Um, but now the Bible tells us that we have been transferred us into the kingdom, no, no, from the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Now, when we were transferred into that kingdom, What went on in darkness no longer affects what goes on in the light. We no longer live in that community or that kingdom. Amen? Amen. It's kind of like, um, uh, what was the name of those people who said we're moving on up? Jeffersons. The Jeffersons, right? We have moved out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. And how have we done that? We've done that through the blood the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ that perpetually cleanses us of our sins. Amen? Amen. Now, the, the, the hard part about that is, is that because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, we still carry around darkness within us. And, you know, there's a saying, says you can take the pig out of the pig pen. But it's difficult to take the pig pen out of the pig. Uh -huh. But Jesus does that uh -huh. through his death and through his resurrection. Yeah. Amen? Amen. It is the perpetual shedding of blood, the perpetual cleansing uh -huh. of sin. Uh -huh. Amen. That has transformed us from the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Amen. And, you know, we need to understand that whatever went on in the kingdom of darkness no longer affects us in the kingdom of light. Uh -huh. Because we are not bound to those things mm -hmm. you know we, we are not bound to those things we are not chained up you mm -hmm. know um because we were born in sin and shaping in iniquity that's we sit in darkness mm -hmm. we sit in darkness waiting for light mm -hmm. you know and the bible says that light came and a lot of people didn't take it because they were uncomfortable with the light mm -hmm. but if we 
as believers begin to understand that light has come and has taken us out of darkness and put us into light. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and this light doesn't fade. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can't blot it out. You know, there's a there's something that the uh I think Socrates talked about. It's it's the cave. Mm -hmm. This cave, you know, and he talks about this dark cave. And one day light comes into this dark cave. Mm -hmm. And it gets dark again. Mm -hmm. But once that light has shown, mm -hmm. darkness is never the same. Mm -hmm. You see, it passes through. Okay, so we talk about the kingdom and we talk about darkness and we talk about how God has made a way for us, amen? And uh, we want some corresponding verses, right? We don't want to make this something that we're just syncing up, amen? amen. So we, I do have some corresponding scriptures for you to examine this concept of um, being taken out of darkness and putting into the kingdom of light. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Isaiah says, 9 and 2, the people who walked in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? This this blood and this sacrifice and this Jesus who went to the cross has transformed you, taken you out of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of light. Mm -hmm. Amen? It is his blood that continues. It is his sacrifice on the cross that has transformed you. you. You know, people say they talk about cheap salvation. It is not a cheap salvation. You know, it is a price that has been paid to get you from darkness and into light. Amen. 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 And we need to understand that and appreciate that for what it is. It has nothing to do with you. It, the only thing that you have to do is have faith in the work that was already done. Amen. Luke said in chapter one, verses 79, to shine upon those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The light shines on us, amen, mm -hmm. and takes us from the, from the world of darkness and into the light, mm -hmm. you know, and it's so crucial for us to understand that it is the light of Jesus Christ, right? It is the light of salvation that brings us into where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Isaiah 49 and 9, saying to those who are bound, go forth to those who are in darkness, show yourselves along the road. They will feed and their pastures will be all, their pastures will be on all bare heights. Amen? Go forth to those who are in darkness. We are supposed to be bringing the news, the good news, the light of Jesus Christ to all those that sit in darkness. Mm -hmm. Anyone that does not accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is sitting in darkness because the Bible says that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And the only solution for that is Jesus Christ. It is the light of Jesus Christ. Amen? Colossians says well he has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son uh -huh. see he's taken us from the kingdom of darkness which is Satan's world that's right and he's transferred us into the kingdom and here's the key of his dear son Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He hasn't transferred us into the kingdom of anything else. Mm -hmm. Right? He hasn't transferred us into the kingdom of Moses. Mm -hmm. He hasn't transferred us into the kingdom of the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. He hasn't transferred us into the kingdom of what we need to do and what we shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. But he's transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son. Mm -hmm. Because we have a situation and we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Paul says, the things that I don't want to do, I do. And the things that I should do, I don't do. He says, who can save me from this dilemma? Who? Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross at Calvary. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. It is a perpetual 
cleansing. Amen. That we are in need of. Amen. I hope somebody's getting something out of it. Mm -hmm. Peter, 1 Peter 2 and 19. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellence of him who has called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Amen. Amen. He has called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Amen. And it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. You were transferred upon your confession of faith in Jesus Christ. Right. And why? Just because he's no, because of the sacrifice that was paid on the cross. Amen. John 12 and 46 says, I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, I have come as light in the world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So that Amen. everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. John 8 and 12. Then Jesus spoke again to them and said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Uh -huh. Amen. Is it getting a little brighter in your life? Mm -hmm. It should be. Amen? Because the light of life is in Jesus Christ. And if you accept him as your Lord and as your Savior, mm -hmm. you have been transferred, trans, tra well, I don't know, trans, uh, yeah, trans, trans whatever, yeah. <laughs> right. removed, right, from the kingdom of darkness. And now you're into the kingdom of life. It doesn't matter what people say about you. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday. Right? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You have been trained. You no longer live in that community. Mm -hmm. Right? Your address, your mailing address is no longer in the kingdom of God. Well. Your mail doesn't go there anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Your mail doesn't go there anymore. Ephesians 5 and 8 said, I'm going to wrap, wrap this up now. Amen. For you were formerly darkness, mm -hmm. but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Amen? Amen. You were formerly darkness, but you're not that way anymore. Amen. Micah, and I'm going to, this will be my last one. Seven and eight. Do not rejoice over me, O my enemies. Though I fall, I will rise. Though I dwell in darkness, the Lord is the light of me. The Lord is the light for me. Mm. Amen? Whatever situation I find myself in, I no longer live in darkness Amen. because I have a light. Amen. I might get caught up. I might get caught up, but I'm, I have a light. There's a light for me at the end of every situation and circumstance that I find Amen. myself in. Amen. Right? I'm not trapped in darkness. Amen? I can find my way out. Amen. Anybody here ever been stuck somewhere and, and could, and, and uh, what they have now, they have those escape rooms, mm -hmm. right? And you have to try to figure your way out. Yeah. You know, but if the light, if it's dark, it's it's hard to figure out. But if there's some light in a room, yeah. amen? If I could just get to where some light is, I can find out where the door is. I can find out where the doorknob is. I can find out where the key goes, yes, right? Yeah. I can find out where the window is, mm -hmm. right? I can find out where the rock is to break the window to get out. Amen. Amen? But I need that light. Amen? Amen? And here's the thing. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you now have the light. Amen? You now have the light. Darkness, death, the devil cannot hold you anymore. Amen? Amen? It is only for those that live in the darkness and that are blind. But you now, you have the light of Jesus Christ that leads and guides and directs you Amen. all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. i like to pray with everybody right now. Father God, we just come before you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, Father God, I just bring forth your word, Lord Jesus. Yes. Help us to know and to understand the full power of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross at Calvary. Help us to understand the redemption that was bought for us on that cross, oh Father God. 
Help us to understand that there is no greater blood, there is no greater cleansing than the cleansing that was performed on Calvary, oh Father God. Lord, when we've been washed in the blood, we've been thoroughly washed. We've been cleansed and clean. Yes. I pray this now in the name of Jesus Christ Almighty. I thank you for each and every person. I hope, Father God, that there was someone, Lord, there was someone that was feeling guilt and condemnation. And these words would encourage them. In Jesus' name we pray. And I turn it back over to our minister, Robinson. Thanks and praise everybody. God bless you, everyone. Amen. Walk in the light, you live light. Come when do have some mercy shine high. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Why don't you walk in the light, beautiful light? Come and come to see and bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. Walk in the light. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a simple message, but it's an important message. Mm -hmm. Um, to walk in the light. We continue. Mm -hmm. Um, that we stay in the presence of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, because the salvation, you know, we we are saved as soon as we accept Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, but there is a a, a, a perfection there yeah. in the term. There's a, a process that Jesus is is still doing in us, mm -hmm. and so we continue to walk in Him. Mm -hmm. We continue to walk in His light. Um, to get better and better day by day, you know, um, and it's only by him that we will get better at this walk. So thank you so much uh, for that word. Um, and I'll now I'll turn things over to Reverend Robinson for her remarks. Amen. Amen. God has rescued us yes, amen. out of the darkness mm -hmm. and has transformed us, yes, yes. transformed Ordered us, okay. conveyed us, yeah, yeah. Amen, into Kingdom. his light. Yeah. You know, I love the word rescued mm -hmm. because I needed rescue. Okay, <laughs> and you know what? You don't yeah, really realize that you needed rescuing mm -hmm. until you get rescued. Okay. Because we were out in the world doing our thing and having a good time. Mm -hmm. So we didn't realize yeah, that right. we needed Come to be to rescued. Right. Amen. And now we are children of the light. Hallelujah. We do thank and praise. Um, we thank God, first of all, for his word. Yes. And we thank God for the men and women that he called to bring forth his word. Amen. Amen. It is so important, man, to go forth mm -hmm. and to tell others about the grace of God and salvation sure. so that they too can be rescued. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You see that 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 did something to my heart right there. Amen. So that they too can be rescued. Yes. Out of darkness, because sometimes we don't know we're in the darkness, <laughs> into his marvelous light. Yes, Amen. In Ephesians 5 and 8, he said, walk as children of the light. Right. You know, some of us are walking around like we're still in darkness. Okay. And we are doing that because we don't know any better, mm -hmm. because we haven't been discipled. Okay. But when Jesus came back from the dead, and I will keep saying this until the day God calls me home, okay. he says, make disciples. Mm. Amen. We get saved or we think we saved. Okay. I don't know which, <laughs> but we are, we go to church and we get preached that okay. every Sunday. Preach, 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 preach. And then somebody says, you know what? Why don't you come to Bible study? Oh. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, no, this won't. is why we're still walking in darkness, because we don't realize that we have been rescued right. out of darkness and has been translated or conveyed mm -hmm. into the spirit of light, which is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to be discipled. Mm -hmm. You have to come to know 
who you are in Christ and watch this, who Jesus Christ is in you. You must come to know this and we learn and we learn and we learn and we learn and we never stop learning. Amen. I don't know what happens after God calls us home, but I can tell you one thing. While we're here, we need to keep on learning about Jesus Christ Amen. and God Almighty. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we do thank and praise God for his word that came forth today that we have been rescued. Now, what does a rescued person do? I'm not going to preach here this <laughs> afternoon. But what happens when a person is rescued out of the water? What happens when a person is rescued from a fire? Right. Oh, y'all better tell me what happens afterwards. Right. What happens to that person? First of all, you got to dry them up. Yeah. You got to do things to them to get them back to it. Hello? Oh, come on in here, somebody. If you're rescued from a fire, what happens after that? What do you do? Just leave the person there? You got to clean them up. You got to give them some water. You got to take them to the hospital. Amen. This is the discipling period that happens after that. So we, after we are rescued, Things have to happen to us. Amen. Yeah. When God brought Lazarus back from the dead, uh -oh. what did he say? Unwrap he said, it. Lazarus, come forth. When mm -hmm. Lazarus walked forth, what did he say? Loose him. Take them off. Take Let him go. Hallelujah. So there's something that we got to do to people after they've been called from yeah. the dead. Because see, when you're rescued, okay. you're called from the dead. Because okay. you're dead, and then you're going to be deader <laughs> after you die. So listen. There's something that has to happen to these people. Right. So we thank and praise God for his word tonight. Okay. Amen. Amen. We thank and praise God for the songs that have gone forth. I thank and praise God for my precious little girl who sings to the glory of God. Bless a little heart. I thank God for my husband who preaches the word, who loves the Lord. I thank God for my son who loves the Lord. And he, I don't know when you're going to hear him again, but he's a fireball. And so, Lord, we just thank you and we praise you. And I turn it back over to Minister Khan. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to have our um, prayer. Um, we're going to take some time to pray for the children. Um, the children are, are um, you know, the children need us. You know, uh, they always do. Um, but, you know, there's so many unique challenges to today's world. Um, whether it's um, peer pressure, you know, that's an internal thing to do all sorts of things that people shouldn't do. Um, whether it's, it's the social media sites okay. um, that, that have no problem um, making them into uh, consumers and, and, and eating them up and eating up their time. And um, whether it's these politicians, I mean, we, we saw how in, in, in um, Florida uh -oh. that um, now they're saying that slavery is okay. Uh -huh. And that they're saying the children must be taught that slavery is okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to get political here, but I will get uh, scriptural. Okay. And I will say that Micah says, woe unto <laughs> those who call evil good uh -huh. and good evil. Mm -hmm. I, I will say that Joseph yes. was placed in the slave. Okay. And, and, and what he says was what you meant for evil God. got mm. turned around for good. And so, yes, there was a benefit that Joseph encountered, but he was unequivocal. Now, what happened to him, that slavery that he was in, was evil. That's right. So there's all sorts of different things, you know, happening and, and, and people, you know, claiming that they're helping the children and they're, and they're harming them indeed, you know. So we're going to pray for the children Lord, and just lift them up in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Um, Lord, we thank you yeah, for God. the children, Lord God. We thank you for the children that are in our lives. We thank you for the children in our communities. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, for them because we know that they're a blessing, Lord God. Yes. However they got here, whatever circumstances That's they right. got here, Lord God, we know that they are a blessing, Lord Jesus. So we thank you for each and every one of the little ones, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, that are in our lives and, and that are in our communities, yes. Lord God. And so as we are our, our stewards of them, Lord mm -hmm. God, Lord, the, the, the proverb mm -hmm. on the African proverb, says it takes a village to raise a child right. and the thing that like one of the other proverbs says is that the child that is not embraced by the village mm. will burn it down to feel its warmth lord mm. god so we ask lord jesus that you first of all you create a community lord god yes, for these father. children lord god you create people to be in their lives yes. just yes their mothers and their fathers lord god i pray lord god but sometimes the mothers and the fathers can't do everything lord That's god right. so i pray for aunties and uncles lord god right. biological Yes. And, and, and relational, Lord God, 
that, to come yes, around, yes. people that um, mean well for these children, teachers and, and guidance counselors and, mm. and pastors, Lord yes, God, yes. and youth pastors, Lord God, that truly mean the best for these That's children, right. Lord God, and that would protect them, Lord God, and help them, Lord Jesus, and, and give them instruction, Lord God, and, and bear up on the mother and the father, Lord God, where they can't do it, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for cousins and, and just people to come around these children, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, um, that you protect them from these algorithms and from these the TikTok, Lord God, from the Instagram, Lord Jesus. So many children with uh, body dysmorphia, Lord God, protect them from the cell phone, Lord Jesus, from the things oh in the God. cell phone that they were never meant to encounter, Lord That's God. Right. Protect them from the predator on there, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Protect them from the, 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 the exploiter, Lord God, the yes. financial exploiter, Lord God. Yes. Protect them from some of these video games, Lord God, Lord that, that want to suck as much money out of them, Lord That's Jesus, right. Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you protect them from that, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. Protect them from wicked people that would seek to try to try Traffic them, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Protect them from wicked people that would, would claim to save them from um, 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 trafficking, Lord yes, God, yes. but really just be exploiting them, Lord God. Mm -hmm. I pray that you put your angels about them, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord, we know how much you regard the little children, mm -hmm. Lord God. He said it's better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and throw yourself into the ocean than to cause one of these little ones to stumble, Lord God. So I pray, Lord God, that you would let, not let them stumble, Lord Jesus, that you would help us to help them, Lord God, Lord that you would equip them, Lord God, protect them, protect their minds, Lord God, where I rebuke them um, um, any demonic forces that are seeking to hurt their mind, Lord God, yes. any depression, any anxiety, Lord God, any um, 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 despair, suicidality, Lord God, yes. uh, uh, violence, Lord God. Lord, some of them are so angry, Lord God. I pray that yeah. you remove that anger from them, Lord God, that you would show them the love of Christ, Lord yeah. God, and it would set a fire in them to want to make things better, Lord yes. God, to want to spread the love of Jesus from mm. here and everywhere, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that they would learn how to read, Lord Jesus. Yes. They would learn how to read yes. at an appropriate grade level, Lord God, <laughs> and that they would be able to understand what they're reading, understand what they're hearing, understand what they're listening to, Lord God. I pray for understanding. They would understand each other and their teachers and their parents, Lord God. I pray for a spirit of understanding. I pray for Generation Alpha, Lord God, that you would just raise them up, Lord yes. God, to be men and women of God, Lord Jesus, that they would have peace, Lord God, um, um, where other generations have not been able to, Lord God. I pray for Generation Z, Lord God, as they come into adulthood. You know, a good portion of them are, are almost 30, Lord God, at this point. So I pray for them, Lord Jesus, that you would equip them to raise the previous generation, yes. Lord God. I pray for the millennials. Lord God, that we would be able to lead and, and guide wherever we can, Lord God. The, the Gen X, Lord God, the uh, baby boomers, Lord God, yeah. that all of us would come together, Lord God, and support these little ones, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for the children and what you're doing in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Now we're going to have um, our song of salvation by our psalmist class. How amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh. Uh. 
Thank you so much for that amazing grace. How sweet the sound. It saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. was blind, but now I see. So we will now have our final remarks, our offer of salvation, and our prayer by our Reverend Thomas Robinson, Sr. Amen. Um, final remarks. I want you, everybody to remember this. Love. God loves you yes. so much. He loves you so much. He's had his son to die for you. Thank you, Jesus. And there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know that God, the very hairs on your head are numbered. And before you were formed in your mother's womb, God knew about you. He knew there's nothing that surprises God about you. He knows everything. And he's here for you. And he will always be here for you. Amen. I'd like to make this order for a salvation. If you'd like to be free today, if you'd Amen. like to come into the kingdom of light yes. and leave the kingdom of darkness, yes. only one thing that you have to do. The Bible says, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Help Jesus me, Christ is Lord, That's right. you will be transferred from the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Thank you will you, be Jesus. saved. And I, you would like that. I want you to repeat after me. Dear Lord, dear Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the death, for the death on the cross, on the cross of your Son, of your son, son Jesus, 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 that has bought, that has bought my salvation, my salvation. I accept, I accept the finished work, the finished work on the cross, on the cross. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. I pray. Help me, Father. Help, Help me, Father. To do my best. To do my best. To find the church. To find, find the church. church. To embrace. To embrace this Christian. This Christian, this Christian walk. Walk. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You said that prayer. If you made that confession of faith. You've come into the kingdom of life and out of the kingdom of God. God bless you. And I'm going to turn it back over to our minister, Thomas. He will do our benediction. benediction. So um, we are, I just want to remind you that we have a Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so please join us for that. Um, it's on Zoom. So you just contact us and we will glad you sent me that link. Um, go ahead and join us um, every Wednesday. It's called Yoke with Jesus. It's really good. It's only an hour. It's only an hour. So. Come away to Christ, the mercy shine bright, shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. And so, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.